And folks, judges Sloan and West have made their decisions regarding the Guernsey yearling heifer in milk class. Here are our results. Our second place finisher and second, second best udder goes to number 2255 Spring Hill Judgment Tropic ETV, Spring Hill, Big Prairie, Ohio. And the winner of our bread and owned best udder and first place overall finisher, 2256 Naps AP Thirsty ETV, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Congratulations. Judge Sloan, please tell us more about these heifers, please. Well, good morning, everyone. We're looking forward to an exceptional Guernsey cow show here this morning. And the cow that starts our milking yearling class, she certainly sets the tone for a great set of cows. This cow that starts the class, we just love the rear udder, great width, great height and capacity to that rear udder and a beautiful frame to go along with that. A cow that's just six weeks fresh, but we certainly appreciate the dairiness, the openness of rib and the angularity that she has today. And she uses that decided advantage in her rear udder to go over the cow in second, being so much higher, wider and fuller at the top of her rear quarters. And she's also just silkier and more angular with so much more depth and openness of rib here today than our cow that follows in second. The second place cow, a cow that's just two weeks fresh, and you love the feet and legs on this cow, so much flatness of bone and correctness in the way that she's tracking. Just want to give her an opportunity to continue in this lactation to get a bit more rear udder and dairy up a bit more. Congratulations to a great pair of cows. Up next for the 2021 International Guernsey Show, the junior two-year-old cows. Our first place awards presented by Blue Moon Guernsey's Bill Blue, Circleville, Ohio. Our best udder rosettes presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. The American Guernsey Cattle Club trophy is presented by the American Guernsey Association. And the junior award is presented by Kayser Compressors Incorporated, Fredericksburg, Virginia. In the International Red and White Show Ring, Judge Boulay has completed Malkin, his placings in the Malkin Yearling class. Placing third in the class is entry 2655, Opsil Bailey Ariana Red, exhibited by Jordan London of Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. Seconds in the class and winning the Bread and Owned Award is entry 2650, Mickleholm War Rocket Red, exhibited by Emily Mickle of Stafford, New York. And winning the class, and also first junior and best utter, is entry 2657, Crest Hill Siren Red, exhibited by Arnold, Ashley, and Andrew Grinis, Richmond, Minnesota. Congratulations. Pierre, your comments on your first class of the day. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, really honored to be here. So uh, I just want to say hello uh, to everybody, too, on the TV. I know with the COVID, it's not easy to travel. So uh, I'm sure you watch the show. And uh, I'm sure you, you will be really enjoy the show because the, the quality. I start with the Milking Yearling today. I'm sure I will be have a great show to judge. I start the class with the, this uh, first. She's 
She's a cow, she have a balance, she's style, really good order in track with a really good fit and leg. She's over the second place, she's just more style today, more width today, more length in the body today than the nice cow in the second place. A second over the third place, just the bloom of the rear order today, the quality, the texture of the rear order today over the nice cow, really balanced cow with uh, lots of openness in the rib today. And the third one over the fourth place, especially the four other attachment and the level of the order over the nice cow in the fourth place. A fourth place over the fifth place, more spring in the rib today, more openness than the cow in the fifth place, recently fresh. And the uh, fifth over the sixth, just the long, more strong in the long region than the nice, big, powerful cow in the sixth place. Congratulations.